Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, nah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. Here we go! No way. We're back in the basement. I just realized we're on opposite sides. They're going to shit. Should we flip? No, let them shit. All right. I feel like Garth down here. Which, by the way, everyone says these are the best episodes. There's like whole theories. There's just like, uh, what do you call it? Pages of breaking down how uh, couch is good, chair yeah. is bad. Number one with a bullet, no chuck. Uh, two, nothing falling off the wall, no scary neighbor. That's a couple of things cooking here. Yeah, there's a new neighbor upstairs. Uh oh. Asian? How'd you know? I smelled it. Oh boy. <laughs> no, I'm All just right. Kidding. Well, it's good to be here, <laughs> folks. I don't even know what that smells like. It's scary because uh, you know, when you I got all the roommates in, I booked all the roommates, and then oh, the yeah. landlord, the last guy I had was Ranan, and this time around the landlord was like, ah, I'll find some. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like this. Ooh. Anti Semitism at its finest. Which, by the way, uh, Renan Nanan, my guy, my homie, my ace, my my number one man. Heeb. Uh, I hope he's okay. This will come out a few weeks from now. He'll be over it. But today, he was texting me in the AM. He goes, Ah, Alan. He's going to see Alan, our, ah. our, our lovely therapist. Well, I haven't seen him in four months. Same. Big Al. We're coming back. We love you, Al. I'm going to see him Thursday. There you go. But he goes, uh, yeah, I hate that he moved his office. I'm like, I know I missed the Upper West Side. Mm. You can walk through Central Park. You can walk back through the park. I like a park walk. Love park. Good for the therapeutic. It's conducive. Absolutely. I love the park, God damn it. Mm -hmm. Rosa Parks. So, uh, eh, her I don't care for, but... A little pushy. <laughs> Get in the back, bitch. <laughs> Woo! We're back! <laughs> uh, I threw Hunter out of the bus. Uh, uh, make sure to take that out, of course. And... Um, <laughs> But anyways, so I, 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 he goes, yeah, yeah, he moved it. He moved the therapy. And I go, I know it's such an annoying part of the, I said, annoying part of the city. Oh, it's that, a, that Union Square area. Yes. Okay. So I say that. And then he goes, yeah, it's crazy. And then he texts and goes, this is a couple hours later. He's like, I'm furious. Fuck Alan. Fuck him oh. for making me come to the office. This is crazy. Oh, and I go, geez. Well, I go, at least you have somewhere to talk about this anger with. And he goes, I don't. I missed the appointment. Oh! Because not unlike you, he's like, I got. I was on the train. I had train mishap. And yeah. he goes, I ended up getting off because in Brooklyn, the train just stopped. And I said, Brooklyn? Brooklyn? And he goes, yeah, you know, ever since he moved the office to Brooklyn. And I go, Brooklyn? What? He's got I go, the wrong left going. I write, uh, <laughs> he didn't move to Brooklyn. And then I just see the three dots. And I go, oh, no. And he writes... What? Oh, shit. And I go, no, no, you got the wrong. It was like Kramer with the uh, the latex. I'm like, no, nah, you're way off. Uh. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's Manhattan. And he goes, oh, my God. Because he typed in pipes. Well, maybe I shouldn't give the address. Don't give the ad, but make it up. Maybe we can bleep that. Yeah. 47 Fifth Avenue. Oh, he went to the wrong And he fifth. typed in there's a Fifth Avenue in Brooklyn. But don't you think, and I understand, you type it into Google Maps. Whatever comes up first, you just click. It yeah. says Brooklyn. That's New York City. I see. But also, Fifth Avenue, if someone says Fifth Avenue, they mean Fifth Avenue, New York. Yeah, Start and spreading the news. You guys had a chit-chat about the office moving. It never came up. Union Square, 14th Street, whatever it is. That never popped in, the convo. No, because what I said played into it. Because I said, I know, it's such an annoying part of town. Uh, he looks it up, and it's Barclays Center. And I he's see. like, this is an annoying part of town. Oh, uh, wow. And I think he blames me, frankly. Well, Al, frankly. But I wouldn't go... If, he, if Alan was in Brooklyn, I wouldn't go. Like, right. that would be the end of that relationship for me. No offense, Big Al, but uh, the anger you're going to cause from going to Brooklyn is now going to ruin my therapy. I wouldn't go to Brooklyn to see my best friend in the world. Oh, too ah, bad I'm moving shit. there. Sorry, I forgot about that. Cut yeah. that out. All right. Um, Keep it in. When's the move? Do you live there? What's going on here? <laughs> it's a whole to do. It's starting to think you didn't buy a house. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to think so, too. But, uh... 
We get we get in there in uh, March. March. We're buying paint. We're March getting Norman. light fixtures. Yeah, we're actually we're into the the nitty gritty now. Paint. I thought you had paint. <laughs> well, we we got wood. We got pipes. We got plaster. But we're finally getting into the the aesthetics. Now, when did you purchase this thing? Because I feel like it was at five seventy eight. When when was nine eleven? Uh, that was when that went down. We bought things were low, <laughs> and then the Jews tunneled in. The whole thing's ruined. Ah, uh, jeez. But uh, we're getting in that puppy in March. I'm gonna be all over that shuffleboard court. So what happens with the current place you're living in? Uh, that I'm renting. So. Oh, nice. I'll you got any uh, takers? No, but it's a sweet locale, so I think it'll be scooped up too sweet. Sweet in your eyes. That's the worst location I can imagine. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God, it's just garbage and hobos. It's Cook Central, don't get me wrong, but people like the village. I'm right by the train, right by the clubs, right by McDougal. It's a hot spot. I guess so. Hot, uh, hot. Hot not. Well, what, was that? what happened to you, by the way? We were supposed to podcast three and a half hours ago. <laughs> You're right. well, I pulled a Ron on. I thought Alan was in Harlem. No, I got on the Q. The Q used to go here, did it not? The Q went here in like 1988 when I moved here. I see. It well, hasn't come here in, I'm going to say, eight years. No. Give me four. Can you look that up? Give it's got to be. It's got to be seven years. I'm going six. Well, I mean, the the the, uh, the Upper East Side line has been open for five years. That's true. Yeah. Well, here's what what's a cum guzzler is also you're on. I don't want to give your ad away. Please. But don't. you're on. We'll say 46 Ave. Okay. On the R, which is also on the yellow line, there's a 46th Street. Uh huh. And I'm like, God, I almost got the R on accident at one point. Then I get on the Q because the Q used to come here. And uh, Q -U. Q on, <laughs> and I got on that fucker, and I'm sitting there and just looking at my phone, talking to people, and then I'm like, everybody's getting off. It's like an exodus, like mm -hmm. an Auschwitz. So we're getting off the train, and I'm like, what the hell? Where's my luggage? My grandmother's dead. And I, I'm i like, why am I getting off here? Oh, it must be something wrong with the train. Last stop. Everybody off. And then it's only going back down. So See, this is the problem, though, and I, nobody rocks out more than me, but you got to be aware, know, especially the with the hobos and the crazies, because this happens to Matt Wayne every time he comes here, my, uh, okay. my, 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 my pal, my, Not alone. my guy, M. Dubs, is he's rocking out. We like to rock and roll. So he gets to Queensboro and they go, this train will be running express to Astoria Boulevard, uh, and he doesn't hear the announcement. Right. So uh, that happens sometimes. What are you going to do? But Well, it, that doesn't hurt to go back down. It's one thing I was like, maybe I'll Uber and, and it put me through Randall's Island. That's how high up you are. Right. You're on 96th Street. You're up in the, the you're in Canada. I know. So uh, I had to go back down, then cut over. And then I, not going to lie, I got back into the rocking out, the Matt Wayne, and I went to Broadway and uh, I had to go back one. Oh, Broadway, you can get off. I could have walked it. Yes, but I go to Broadway. I thought you were forty six. I'm equidistant between forty sixth and the Broadway. Ah, what do we got for an answer over there? Twenty sixteen. That is eight years ago. Wow. Okay. On the on the I think nose I nailed there. it. Did I say eight years? I think you said eight. Maybe I did. I think you did. I'm pretty impressed with myself. All right. Well, it's newly twenty twenty four. It's like so seven we'll years say ago. Seven, and seven But they would accept. Alex Trebek would say, "We got it." That's true. Sorry. Well, he's dead. That's true. All Canadian. right. Who's your favorite can Canadian all time? Ooh, probably Norm. Oh, I forgot about Norm. I was hoping you'd say Hanley. When's the uh, last time you saw Phil Hanley? By the way, I might throw him on the beacon. I think I saw. Oh, hit kill. He's great. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen him since October of '87. I think I saw him at a show, and I I could have sworn he gave me the uh, uh oh, and he ran the other way. But I caught him. He doesn't run. Well, he gave me like the oh. If I keep if I walk faster, he won't notice me. But I, I caught him. Oh boy! But no, nah, we're cool. We worked it out. But uh, are you here Saturday? Probably. No, I'm okay. gone. I'm gone. I got the corporate. On. I got a big corporate dental thing. Boy, Mister Indie Rock, uh, sobriety, Deepak Chopra is now corporate Johnny. I've done six corporate gigs, <laughs> and uh, I'll take more of them. By the way, I eat. A fucking bag of farts every time. Join the club. <laughs> I, mean, I can't believe the word hasn't spread. I've never done one of these and not eaten a pile of shit. Same. Same here. And you know my story. I went into the one in Toronto. Big bucks. Big money. And the guy goes, do this bit. I'm a huge fan. Me and my son watch you uh, all night. I hate my wife. Do this bit. Do that bit. And I did them. 
bobbing and he's looking up at me in the front row going, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm like, I'm doing the bits you picked and they're still bobbing. No, it's brutal. And I have this thing too. And we all have it. I know everyone's going to relate. You relate is that I got to do this clean set. They booked it in February of 91. They yeah. were like, we know how funny you're going to be. We want you to do a corporate gig. And I said, you got it. It's squeaky clean 45 minutes. And I'm like, I don't do that, but I can piece together all my material from the course of my life. Yeah. And I just keep not doing it. What do you mean? Like memorizing old oh, bits, putting together yeah. a set. And I know I'm just going to show up and be like, got you got me. It's like a homework assignment. I just can't bring myself to do it. I know exactly what you mean. I ended up doing it the day of. That's because the pressure kicks in. Well, that's what I tried doing in Vegas with that dental gig, if you recall. That would have been okay. That went okay, but I showed up and he was like, we played all your dentist jokes. Oh, And the, then right. at the last second, he said, you can go rated R, I'm going rated R. So I went up there and I was like, I, I blow my father on Christmas, my yes. mother eats me out for Easter. Yes. And they were like, oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. but this gig, there's no way I'm getting that again. No, no. Can you say what it's for? What is it? Reiki? Raytheon? What are we talking here? No, it's a dentist. It's another denty. Whoa. I'm, I'm, I kill with dentists. With, I'm the dentist comedian. With those chompers? I mean, that'd be like if the NBA booked a mid. Yeah, they're they're going backwards. I'm telling you, they like the jokes. And they, by the way, every time I do it, they all hand me a card, being like, "We can take care of this <laughs> if you want." They're like, "Don't talk to him. Get these." I got 48 fucking uh, optetricians, whatever it's called, up there. Well, you're a little torn because if you get the teeth fixed, you might not get the gigs. No, the gigs are about the bits, not the teeth. Right, They're not just right. looking for any Steve Buscemi to do a gig. <laughs> you got to have the bits. That's true. They would have gotten a British comic by now. <laughs> they got, it's it's about the bits, Jerry. But the oh, teeth. Oh right, right, right. You got. I feel like with the junk. teeth, I can get the Buscemi gig. I've never been casted because the teeth. Oh, but you fixed it. That's what Buscemi said. He's like, I stand out. That's a good point. It's like being uh, the precious chick. Plus, it gets the algorithm going, because every time I post a video, people are like, why haven't you fixed your teeth, you dirty piece <laughs> of shit, you scumbag, you're making me throw up? Oh, let it ride. Let it I'm ride. I'm letting Fuck it that. ride or die, baby. You know, Jennifer Gray of uh, Ferris Bueller fame. Of course. And and blowing, blowing uh, Matthew Broderick, Broderick car crash fame. And killing a child. But uh, she's an got, adult. That's true. But I think it was a kid. Makes it a little sadder. Look it up. Give it a goog. But she had got at least one adult. Sorry, driving. Huh? What? It was at least one adult who was driving. No, I'm saying they ran over a kid. They ran over a kid. Yeah, yeah. They didn't blow a kid. Oh, I thought they hit a car. <laughs> no, I think they ran over a child. Oh my <laughs> word! Can we get a ruling on this from the judges? Call in if you know. I thought it was a car wreck, head-on collision, wrong side of the road, head. Hey, because it was in England. No, is that right? Yeah, it was in the UK. Oh, top UK. of the top of the head to you. So, oh, that's Ireland. Fuck. But uh, he was shit. he was getting a little roady, and then he ran over the child, um, Prince Harry. I don't know, but either way, she got a nose job. Never worked again. Exactly. I don't want to be Jennifer Gray. I want to be Joey Jennifer Blue. Gay. Two people. Two. That's what I said. No children. No, no. children. 28 and 63, both, both women. women. Okay, wow. well, that's good. Two well, less broads. Yeah, and the queue was built six years ago. Yeah. But uh, you're on it with the facts. The oh, trivia. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're off it. I'm off it. I'm on it. That's a good uh, supplement. Mary Muffet. So, <laughs> eating her curds and whey. All right, so... Uh, What's you a curd? Th What's a whey? Well, <laughs> well, there's a will, there's a way. But uh, you said Miss Muffet. Mary Moffat, who I think there's a Moffat who's the victim in Silence of the Lambs. I don't know if her name's Mary, though. I'd have to get a fact check on that. But there's definitely a Moffat. All right. Well, either way, we should get a Moffat. But you get the teeth comments. I get lobes all day. Ah, uh, the lobes. I'm Lisa Lobes out here. Uh huh. It's just, what's up with his ear lobes? What a freak. What a psycho. He needs to get that snipped. What's going on there? You got like the Paltrow. Who's that? Gwyneth Paltrow has very similar. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Big time. What? Take a peek. I've never heard of the Paltrow comparison. I think that's why she quit the business. <laughs> they said, get out of here. You got nasty lobes. Oh, she's in goop. By the way, after the, a couple episodes ago, once again, I get the bald. He's bald. He's balding. I'll, I'll show you a headshot from any fucking time period. <laughs> really? This is the forehead I done been born with. That's a fiver, but you've, yeah, I'm more balding than you. You got that straight. They're watching us two going, look how bald List is. I'm like, what am I out of my mind? I this mean, guy's got his pubes taped to his forehead. You got a billboard cooking. I'll give him that, but I mean, you could 
could uh, you could audition or uh, advertise. You got that straight. But uh, for my yeah. dental gigs. There you go. What what do you got on the? Uh... He says Miss Muffet. Miss Muffet. I don't know who okay. that is. Sounds of the Lambs. It's not oh. Mary Muffet. Well, let's just assume her name is Mary Muffet. Got it. But I got the Muffet. Okay. Muffet. Buffett. Uh. Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, you made it here. Yeah, sorry I'm late. I hated it. Uh, I'm here. I'm queer. My phone died. I was just like this the whole time. I was so bored, and uh, I ran through all the batteries. Oh, we could probably juice you up. Hey, I'd Upstairs, love a juice. Um, the old show up with the phone dead guy. Well, it's not dead. It's getting there, though. Mm-hmm. I got a few few bars, but uh, so is the baby upstairs? Yeah, two floors up. Whoa. One flight up is the, the Asian new guy. It's funny when a baby, it's like a celebrity. I'm like, is the baby here? And oh, he's Don't like the baby. Don't piss off the baby. It's like J-Lo. You can't look it in the eye. It's exciting. He's up there sleeping. Yeah, yeah. You know. At least you don't hear the screaming. No, I hear it oh, at okay. night when I'm trying to sleep. I yeah. couldn't sleep last night. I hate insomnia. You're just staring at the ceiling. It's the worst. And the weird thing is your body needs sleep, but it won't do it. I'm like, I'm tired. You hate my awakeness. Let me go to bed. Yeah, it's just the head spinning. What's hard is because now Sarah sleeps in the other room with the baby because it's like, why should we both deal with the no sleep? Sure. But my thing about sleeping before was Sarah would always stay up later than me. So I would fall asleep knowing that if I can't sleep, there's somebody next to you who's also awake. I see. Because don't you find the worst part of not being able to sleep is the isolation? Everybody's sleeping and you're not. No, that doesn't bother me. What do you I mean? Kinda, I kind of like the isolation. Oh, I think that's why I'm up. I'm like, oh, a little me time. But I'm talking about that's different. That's I want to be up because everyone's. Uh, I'm talking about when you desperately want to need to sleep uh-huh. and everyone else is sleeping and you're like, ah! oh, yeah, that's a bitch. If you're desperate and, and want to kill yourself because you can't fall asleep and you know you got to get up early and you have no sleep and someone else is awake, you're like, well, at least you're awake. I'm awake. That's true. We could bake. You yeah. know what I mean, though? Have yeah. you had that feeling? I you, do. I know exactly. What, when you look at that person sleeping next to you, you almost resent them. Of course. You're like, what the fuck are you trying to p- prove here? The mind fuck with like insomnia and stuff is the thing of like, like you said, it feels so simple. I know. My eyes are closed. Let's do it already. Just Hit me, baby. Drift, but there's no, you can't physically fall asleep. You have to not fall asleep. Say it a minute. It's almost like you've never had this problem, but not getting a boner. You're going, come on, I'm horned up. I got a naked hooker right here. What are we doing? We're ready to go. She's paid for, bought, and and ready and wet. I can't get cooking. By the way, you know about arrows.com? Arrows. E-R-O-S.com? Is that a Native American thing? Uh, It can be, if that's your pleasure. Oh. This is a big, high-end process. You heard of this, Lex? I heard about it on the regs. Lewis was talking about it. Okay. High-end, confirmed prostitute ladies. Really? Oh, yeah. You can you can pick and choose, and it's like checkmarked, uh, Norman, off of, this is them. And Come, come again? Like, it's not like, uh, you're not getting catfish. Oh, okay. This okay. is like, they've confirmed, this is them, and they suck you off and fuck you for about a, you know, it's like a grand. Oh. Ah. Or higher. All right. And uh, you arrows. Pick your uh, preference. Oh, yeah. You can go trans, the Asian boy, lady boy, black boy, any kind of boy you can want. Ah, that's a lot of boys. Uh, boy. Any ladies? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah oh, okay. Got that too, okay, yeah. great. Uh, but yeah, arrows.com. New spot. <laughs> Arrow. I'll take New some spot. arrowhead. <laughs> Wow. But, uh, I don't know what made me think of that. No, good to know. Arrows. Well, that's a good plug. It's sponsor us, will you, Arrows? Yeah, send us a free fucking dame <laughs> to us suck us boy. off. <laughs> <laughs> Arrows, all right. Yeah, E-R-O-S dot com. Oh, e. I was thinking like the... No, no, Arrows. Oh. I don't know what it means. I think it's a Greek thing. Arrows, like Arrows was oh. like a god of, of hooker or something. Yeah, sounds right. But you said something that made me think of that. Sex, hooker. Oh, I was saying I got a, it's when you can't get oh, up, the boner, a boner, the boner, and the boner. you got a dead hooker right here. I'm ready to go. She's warm still. Let's get this cooking. Well, I have had this where I'm making love to a lady or a fella, whoever, or inclusive here. Sure. And you come first. She hasn't come yet. So you got to try to, you try to keep it going. So I have had that where it's like, Physiologically, it's going down. Yes. But I'm trying to look at her pussy or butthole or her big toenail and just try to keep it hard. Yeah. But it just, it's, 
it's going down. There's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do with the clock's ticking. I've had the the greatest moment of my life. I'm plowing the wife. She's on top. And for some reason, if a woman's on top, I got the tits. I got the, she's doing all the work. I jizz in two seconds. Really? Oh, uh, With a woman on top, I don't know what it is. I feel like it's squishier. It's tighter. It's wetter. It's gooier. I'm well, done. That's fascinating because I've never come with a woman on top ever in my whole life. Really? Yeah, it's fun. The tits, but I, I think I feel bad. I think I'm, uh, I'm uh, there's a mental clock ticking of like mm. she's gonna stop doing that at some point. She'll get tired. Yeah, she hates this. Yeah, and yeah. You can, your dick can break. Huh? So I'm worried about my dick breaking. Oh yeah, dick you Bob, break. she weaves. Forget about it. Wow, I've heard of a coffee break, but this is ridiculous. But so she's going to town on me, and I blow it. I lose it, but I don't tell her. So now you're doing that weird thing where you're trying to hold in an orgasm in your face, like. <laughs> you know, I don't want her to know that I'm blowing, right. but I'm blowing. And uh, so I'm like, oh, cold out, you know, but I'm freaking out. And then I know I have T minus two and a half minutes before that thing turns into a an old slinky. Two and a half minutes. Mine goes south in eight <laughs> seconds. Oh, I can I can ride it out a little bit. Okay. So it's kind of like a car where you're like, oh, I'm coasting. I'm downhill. Mm-hmm. It's out of gas, but put I'm it, coasting. You put it in neutral. Yeah, yeah, and she won't roll over. But uh, I'm 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 holding on to dear life, and then she's like, a minute in, she goes, I'm coming, and I'm like, oh, oh that's perfect. Nice. So now she's loaded. I'm loaded. We're ready to go. I have had that before back in missionary. When I come, I try to sustain, then she comes, and you're like, great. When yeah. you come at the same time, that's really something, but very oh. rare. It's like a bald eagle. It's like two keys with a torpedo. It feels, you feel, you never feel closer. You, you hug yeah. after, and you go, ooh, I wish I knew your name. I would like to make love today. Really? Very few days. Yeah. What can you do? Not into it? Well, we got the baby, and then she got her period back finally after uh, like four months. And I guess if you have a four months or whatever, 13 months, you get the period back. It comes back like uh, bigger than ever. It's shining. like Hulk Hogan or something. It right. really, whatever, explodes. Do you see Hulk Hogan? Uh, there was a guy who got flipped over in a car, and, and some guy pulled him out of the car and helped him, and it was Hulk Hogan. No kidding. Pull that. Give that a goog. Oh, go. Bow, 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 when it comes crashing down and it hurts inside. Car crash. I got you, brother. Oh, yeah. Hello there, folks. This episode of Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Raycon. Raycon! Searching for the perfect Valentine's gift, Raycon has you covered. Their everyday earbuds are a gift that your partner and loved ones will actually use. None of that chocolate crap of bunny rabbit. Get out of here. Get some optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. They are super comfortable and will stay in your ears no matter what you're up to. Raycons are here for a good time and a long time with eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life. What's even better, you're getting incredible audio quality at half the price of other premium audio brands. I love Raycons. My buddy, I uh, I gave him a pair of Raycons. This is true. And uh, he was getting chased by a kook running full speed. And all he could think is, I can't believe my Raycons are staying right in place. I swear to God, that's a true story. These babies have three customizable sound profiles, earbud tap functions, and noise isolation setting, and even awareness mode. How crazy is that? Get some for your your dame on Valentine's Day, your main squeeze. Do it. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tuesdays today to get 15% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tuesdays to score 15% off free shipping. Buyraycon.com slash Tuesdays. Tuesdays with Stories also brought to you by Blue Chew. Is not being able to get it up stressing you out. Lucky for you, this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. They're an online service that sends chewable tablets right to your door that have the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra. Take them anytime, day or night, so you're always ready to go. Everybody I know takes this stuff, loves this stuff. It is the thing to do in the comedian's over 45 circle. I'm only 41. Everything's done online, so there are no awkward doctor's visits or waiting in line forever at the pharmacy. Everything's easily shipped right to you in a discreet packaging. Uh, Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for Tuesdays with Stories listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use code TUESDAYS at checkout. Just pay five bucks in shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code TUESDAYS. 
to receive your first order for, for your first month. Holy crap. To receive your first month free. That's insane. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And thank you, Blue Chew, for sponsoring the show. We do appreciate that. Did you see Iron Claw? I haven't seen it. And I got to tell you this about Iron Claw. My friend Matt Wayne, aforementioned, who's not a hater. He's a lover. He said to me, don't pay to see this movie. Wow. I hated this movie. It's a big mess. It doesn't make any sense. And he was excited to see it. He's a wrestling guy mm. and a lover of film. And uh, he just was like, don't pay. And I was like, ah, disappointing. That sucks. Then Luke Monas posted a meme. Mm. It's funny because it's like my uh, my two guys that I open, open for me. Yeah, yeah. Luke Monas posted a meme where it was like a fish making a sad face, and he, and he wrote, me leaving the Iron Claw. And I was like, oh, yeah, I heard it sucked. I thought he was saying I'm leaving sad. And he's like, sucked. It's my favorite movie of all time. Oh, he's like, weird. I was sad. And he's like, you got to see it. He's like, and he said, I know you, and I know you're going to love this. And Matt Wayne said, I know you, oh, and I know you're going to hate it. Weird. So it almost feels like I have to see it, and wh whichever one is right. Is That's the, the permanent opener, yeah. Yes, yes, wow. And that was a lot riding on this. So yeah, you, now I'm dying to hear your take. And it's got like 91, when Matt said that, I was like, oh, it must be a piece of shit. It's got 91% Rotten Tomatoes. Very people, a lot of people, yeah, you, have you seen it or no? No, no, but I got, I got a theory on this now. Many people critical about the Ric Flair performance. I think mm. some of it's out of order if you're a mm. wrestling purist. I don't know. I want to hear the theory. The theory is, it's like these comic book queefs, you know, these, these. oh, I love Hawk Dick or whatever. <laughs> I, I love green greenarrows.com, uh, whatever it is. There's one flaw in the origin, or the costume isn't right, or the hair is a little off, and they go, oh, the movie sucks, fuck mm -hmm. it, burn it all, kill everybody, I haven't gotten laid. This is the, what Matt Wayne is doing. He's doing like, oh, I love wrestling. Monez probably doesn't even love wrestling, so he just saw it as a movie. That's true about Monez not liking wrestling, but... but Matt is just not that kind of guy. Right. Sometimes there's a lot goes into mood and feeling That's of true. a movie. That's you true. go see a movie, and I've had it million times. I, I'm famous for this. I've seen a movie, and I'm like, that is the best movie I ever saw in my life because I was getting Roadhead from right. Jennifer Grey, no eating, job. My, eating my M&Ms, and then I watch Killing it a second women. time, and I'm like, yeesh. Yeah. And vice versa, where I'm like, That's a piece of human garbage. And then I watch it again, and I'm like, well, I swung and missed. That movie is the best movie I ever saw. Well, that's why you guys are so hard with the critiques. You swing hard this way. You swing hard that way. Love, hate. Like, uh, Ronan's like, I hated the holdovers. It's the worst piece of shit I've ever seen. I'm like, you can't do that. Nah, that's like when people go, Jennifer Aniston, gross. Wait, wait, you can't go gross. A dead lady with her legs open is gross. This is Jennifer Aniston. You can go, I don't find her attractive, but you can't go gross. For the record, I hated holdovers. He loved it. Ah, fuck me. But what can you do? But <laughs> also, speaking of Renana, non, non, non. Sure, he's still in Brooklyn, I think. He texted me the other day, and we did an episode on The Irishman, Joe and Renan Talk Movies, and he talked about how it's the greatest film of uh, all time. See, see, absolutes. Then he texted me the other day, and he goes, I gotta tell you, I tried rewatching it. He's like, it's quite boring, and the CGI is horrible. And I'm like, you just... Uh, what's that word that the kids do at the lamppost? Reneged? Gaslight. I'm like, you just gaslighted oh, all of America. Oh, yeah. Because you're telling all of America this is Scorsese's best film. It makes Goodfellas look like a pile of trash. And then he's like, this is pretty boring. Yep, yep, yep. You know, you know what it's like? It's like these bad journalists. They go, uh, Rock is dead. They got to have a big headline, you know? And you're like, what? I just went to a concert two days ago. What are you oh, talking about? The rock, rock is dead. The Rock is dead. It makes me crazy. And I have this conversation with certain people I'm close to who are like, nobody rocks anymore. And I'm like, no, you're just not looking up the rock bands. Mm. There's plenty of people who fucking rip. Uh, Metallica still tours. I mean, there's old bands that are still rocking. But by the way, I'm going to see Foo Fighters and the Pretenders at City Field. I can't wait. Whoa. Uh, but Big yeah, night. plenty of people still rock, and there's plenty of new great bands that fucking rock. They're just not pop music anymore. That's what it is. It ain't pop. It's not the number one hit. Right, right. But they rock. Plenty of rock and roll happening. You Right now, you could go to New York somewhere and watch a guy with his foot on the monitor like, yeah! It's yeah. Josh Adam Myers, but still. <laughs> <laughs> well, why isn't it not pop? That's the part that's a little vexing. I think times change that goes back and forth, up and down, over and out. The pop, the I don't Taylor Swift. I think it's huge. Yeah, she's the biggest thing, and people wanted to rock and rebel then, and I think they rock and rebel in different ways. I don't know. And I, I think I think that's true. And also, your dad was in the rock, 
oh, you're the dad now. So they go, I can't do that. Dad did it. I got to mm. go the other way. I guess, but Maybe. I'm like, but some people they like they love what their dad loved. Yeah, yeah. Like I like do like my mom. So I think they people would also get what's given to them. You know, yes. back I think in the '60s and '70s, there wasn't as much like like whatever. Uh, they weren't doing like sound machines and uh, drum machines. Yes. They needed raw materials. And then you started to get Backstreet Boys works and the dance moves and whatever. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Also, it's, they don't push back on rock. Like when, when uh, Mick Jagger's up there twerking and tweaking and he's got a album cover with his dong bulge. It was forbidden. Forbidden. Jerry. Right. So now it's like, Oh, these these white guys with long hair want to do this. Nobody cares. Go do it. And so, but then when some uh, Nas X, little Nas X goes, hey, I'm going to put a crucifix in my pussy. You go, whoa, what's up with this? Right. Let me tune into that. But all, but then that, that negates the whole Taylor Swift thing because she's apple pie. Yeah, she appeals to a lot of people. It's all splintered now. Yeah, too. There's just not anything that's huge. But it is weird to think about like in 19 fucking 71, you could hear like war pigs on FM radio. I know, I know. Those were the days. Yeah. War pig. What is that? War pigs is like scound out scound destruction. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. <laughs> I know. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they were pushing back against Nam and against the man. Right. Just like witches at Black Masses. Oh, yeah. oh Lord. Yeah. yeah, suck on that, Swifties. Yeah, you suck, Swift. And then it cut to him, and he's like, I got to make breakfast. <laughs> like, they were watching uh, the Aussies or whatever oh, the TV yeah, show was, yeah, right. which was huge. <laughs> right, I remember right. doing Tuesday at the Comedy Connection, we would run downstairs to Zuma Tex Mex to all watch the Oz Wow. Box. Everyone was like, quiet, quiet, it's coming on. Yeah. It was hilarious. We did that with uh, Jersey Shore, not because we liked it. It was just, it was such a phenomenon that you're like, I had to go see it. And well, it was before YouTube was around, so you just, you caught it, you didn't. By the way, about 11 comics had the joke that was like, uh, I've tried to watch uh, the Osbournes with the subtitles on. When Ozzy talked, it just said, we have no idea. Uh, that was like a big joke. Yeah, that was kind of a sad... Cat Williams made that good point of... The guy goes, uh, the guy in pajamas, whatever, the black guy, the, the running back. Shay Shay. From what? The podcast with Cat Williams that got forty million. Oh, views. oh, Shannon Sharp. <laughs> That's it, Shannon Sharp. I thought we were talking the Osbournes. Oh, I was well, like, who? I'm, I'm going into that. Okay, I see. So you got Shay Shay or Shannon? Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp, which sounds like a porn star, mm -hmm. but uh, he's going. So what? What about Kanye? He's nuts. And then Con and Cat Williams goes, Yeah, he is nuts. So maybe we shouldn't be putting him on every show. It's kind of fucked up that we know this guy is a retard, and we're just like, here's a microphone, and then we get mad at him for saying crazy shit when we know he's crazy. Right. Uh, and I feel like that with Ozzy. Right. You know, it was a little sad. Like, this guy belongs in a nursing home with a catheter up his ass, and we're like... Let's film you eating breakfast, <laughs> and breaking <laughs> eggs, and slipping on the <laughs> stairs. You know? But that's uh, that's America. That's uh, the whole thing. It's a freak show. I mean, Put TL out. TLC is a freak show. Like we don't have freak shows anymore in the tent. We got here's a six hundred pound whore. Here's a here's a midget clan. Here's a lady with twelve kids. Well, that's how you get a President Trump. I guess so. Because he's in there, be like, this guy's fat. He's like, oh, he's like, this guy's <laughs> retarded. And they're like, put the camera on him. Yeah. This is gold. He's like, my dick. I got a huge uh, dick. I I promise yeah. you, I know I have small hands. Look at these hands, Pocahontas, right. yubba dubba do. And everyone's like, I'll vote for that guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like the fat lady and the Aussie. Yeah. They, we literally elected a reality TV star literally. to run the country. I know. It, it makes perfect sense. Probably going to do, do it again. again. Yeah. I'm embracing it. I'm like, here we go. Yeah. It's well, going to be fun. I mean, it's going to piss. I'm not, a, I'm not into politics, but I'm just an already pre annoyed with the anger and the, oh, protest and everybody's gonna be mad and make everything about race and gender and uh it's gonna be annoying well here's the great i i mean now this is just overtly political but this is what's so funny about the trump people the trump supporters they really think he's the antithesis of pc like it's gonna get better uh, they don't realize the worst thing that can happen for cancel culture and political correctness all the stuff we all hate is gonna bring it is all back. this fella getting back into office because it's all a counter they act like 2016 to 2020 
We weren't dealing with political correctness, when in reality, that's when it was the worst. The and him worst. being out of office is just allowing people finally now to be like, maybe we could give a couple specials to these fellas over here. Yeah, good point. It's this is he is not the answer to this. No. Having a, a republic, any any president, but as Louis said 15 years ago, like put John Kasich in, just get a regular Tom, Dick, or Harry. I'm conservative in there. Sure, all the political correctness stuff would quell a little bit. It wouldn't be I so, know. but. Him in office makes everyone go, let's be, let's fucking get triplets in our son or whatever the fuck that goes on there. I know. Anyways, I know. It's, he's not the answer, you fucking dum-dums. Look it. Look, just look. That's a good point. Political correctness didn't get better when he was in office. It got maniacs. way worse and way more annoying and everybody was way angrier. Yes. But, and by the way, all the mask mandates and the fucking vaccines happened when he was president. It was the Trump vaccine. Warp speed, that's Captain. Right. That's right. So don't be mad about the vaccines and go, we need Trump back. He uh, was the vaccine guy. He was the vaccine guy, but... End of rant. Don't you think it's interesting that he was the vaccine guy and and all these, you know, Kamala was like, or Kamala was like, I'm not taking his vaccine. Oh, yeah. And then a late, you know, two months later when it's Biden, she's like, put it in me. Oh, yeah. She's okay. a moron. <laughs> she yeah, is she a moron. Sucks. So everybody's um, a moron. Politicians suck, but I agree. Get the regular queef in there. Put the K-sick or the other guy, whoever. Just just keep it moving. I don't keep even it think, quiet. I don't even think there is another guy at this point. I think they're all out. What about, uh, what's his face? RFK? RFK. He's, uh, he's running on the left, isn't he? A Democrat? I think he went uh, down the middle of the pipe. But I think he's a, wanted to be a Democrat. He wanted to be, but now he's independent. Ah, well, yeah. is he running? I don't know what happened with I him. I think no one knows anymore because it's it's all Trump all the time. Yeah, and he's, Haley, whoever she is. Yes, she was bullied for being brown. <laughs> I didn't even know she was brown. She shouldn't have told me. <laughs> now I hate her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. By the way, we're losing everybody. But I have a story that is like sort of political. So maybe we should pad it. Pad. You have a story. You do a story, and then <laughs> I'll right. come back around to my story because okay. everyone's gonna be upset. I'm wearing a pad. But, uh, my God, the algo is going to go nuts. These comments are going to be insane. Yeah, I'm sure true. I'm wrong and bald and I got bad teeth. I'm a moron. But, <laughs> my earlobes uh, are bad. I get it. They're connected. No but, one will actually argue with what I said, though. They'll just go, you got to stop reading that's true. whatever you read. Literally, it's that vague. You need to stop listening to a guy. <laughs> they don't even name who it is. They don't make an argument. Right. Just a very broad, you're listening to the wrong people. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, who are you listening to? Right, the right Do you people. have any argument with the points that no. I'm Oh, yeah, no anyways. point, no point. Okay. And then even if they do argue a point and then you counter it, they don't write back and they call you a homo or something. Nah, yeah, they move the goalposts, but whatever. <laughs> I, I get this a lot on my videos, so I'll get like, I'll have a gay joke. I did a whole Stephen Hawking thing, and one guy goes, uh, I'm in a wheelchair, this isn't funny. And I go... Maybe it's not funny to you. It's killing on the internet. And everybody's sure. writing, ha every other person's writing, ha ha, smiley face, whatever. Can we just do the, it affects you, you're in the joke, kind of, it's about you, kind of, that doesn't mean it ain't funny. Yes. That drives me crazy. Well, this is the thing that every single person on earth is guilty of. Yes. Is that they hate all the political correctness, all the people that are triggered, and then they get triggered all by the, the one thing that bothers them. By the way, did you know this? Somebody sent me, there's a whole South African Reddit that's just us. Huh? Did you know this? South African? No. If you go to Reddit hyphen South Africa or whatever, I don't know how Reddit works. Okay. But there's a South Africa page. They got Wi-Fi? There is a 700, that's why we're in trouble. Uh -oh. There's a 750 comment thing. Some guy sent it to me because he was all mad at me. Okay. Because I said I would travel anywhere but Africa and Middle East and he took it dead serious. I also said to you, do they have podcasts in Africa? And he wrote a three, I should be fair. He did write back and apologize and be like, oh, I'm an idiot, I'm tired, that's I'm stupid. Rare. But it was like three paragraphs on how they do have podcasts. And then he sent me this. He's like, here's what people think of you in South Africa. And it's your whole speech about the bachelor party or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> honeymoon. <laughs> honeymoon. I confused okay. those. So one was in Tampa. There it is. It is a honeymoon. It's a whole oh. clip from the show. And there's literally like 7,000 comments being like, these guys are pieces of shit. Oh, Fuck wow. This guy. And he started it, this guy you're talking about? No, oh, no, no, okay. no. He was just mad at me. But then one of the comments is like, two men that have, this is, we're watching two idiots who have never left the country. And I'm like, 
Uh, I don't know if there's two people that have traveled more. Yeah, I just went to Mexico. <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I've been yeah, all you've over been the Iraq, world. For Christ's sake. Yeah, and he said that he's like, yeah, what do you think? If you go to the Middle East, you're going to get bombed. And I was like, I've been to the Middle East. I, I, I'm willing to bet so more funny. times than you. Yes. Many times. And also, not only have I been to the Middle East, don't act like you're not more likely to get bombed uh-huh. in the Middle East. Good point. So doubly incorrect. Yeah. I, d- I love the, uh, again, the absolutes. These two people probably never left the country. So that's wrong. So now what? Should we listen to anything you say? Can you say sorry? Can you retract that? W- w- what do we do here? Or do we just ignore it all? We're kidding. I mean, Lex is in shambles look, reading the comments. Oh, I mean, I'm like... W- is it about the lobes? We're kidding. <laughs> no, no. Because we're ignorant pieces of shit. And right. The whole thing. And the whole podcast, I'm going, they have mud in Africa? <laughs> do they have cars in Africa? Right. They have McDonald's? They and have these lights. people are like... <laughs> we're from Africa. I'm like, my wife is from Africa. <laughs> we're, I, I would love to go to Africa. I'd love to go to yes. Kelman. Jaro in Egypt, and right. my whole my whole in laws are all from there. Arguably, the smart guy who lives here and Elon Musk is from there. We're we're not unfamiliar with South Africa. I went there for a honeymoon. You think I went there because I didn't think it had electricity? But they're very upset. I mean, Lex is. What do you got here? What, what is it? It's not good. I mean, they're really upset. <laughs> Somebody says both guys seem like really ignorant assholes, and then the comma underneath it is he farted into the mic and proceeded to fan it around. Oh, yeah. That's the exact same shitty mic to his lips. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fun. All right. right. I can live with that. No, they're very upset. Yeah, they're like, this is America. This is what America thinks. And I'm like, well, we should, we're not representing America. No. And um, also, also, yeah. I did go there, and then I said what I saw. I'm not like sitting here going, this is what I think of Africa. I went to South Africa and was like, this is crazy. That was a bunch of power outages, and I came back, and I, I'm sure I shit on it as well, but it's not perfect. I, I'm like, <laughs> we're kidding. Also, you can pull up about 17 hours of us trashing Orlando, Tampa, right, Detroit, right. New York. I mean, half the Asia. show is me being like, I got to get out of New York City. This place yeah, is a toilet. True. That's fuck true. Fuck you. Fuck this town. Yeah. And uh, I've had, they're upset. Yeah. But what are you going to do? We're joking. It's a fucking comedy podcast. And wow. I think they act like, I think these people think also that like, Everything on the show is dead serious. And then when I travel, I go to, you know, Peru, and I'm like, Retards! How come you're not watching Full House? Stay most! I'm like, I get it. I go and I eat the food, and yeah. you say hello, and That's I bow cool. and say, Holy hell! Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, in Peru. But yeah. But no, of course. It's just so funny to. Oh, Snapper. that was a real snappy <laughs> jappy. But uh, it is weird to be like, these guys are idiots. They're, and they're like, well, we're joking and you're taking it seriously. So who's the idiot? But, yeah. Hey, to each his anal, now no. Folks, this episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Keeping relationships healthy can be tough, whether things are challenging at home, yikes, at work, mm-hmm, or at school. What? Therapy can be a great tool to work through things. You get to talk to a licensed therapist who can help you see your blind spots and can kindly guide you to being the best version of yourself. Folks, I don't have to say it. You know how much I love therapy. You know how much therapy has changed my life. I was in therapy when I was seven years old. I was in therapy when I was 20 years old. I'm in therapy now at 41 years old. I love therapy. I need therapy. I keep coming back because it keeps working for me, and it can work for you. The whole thing is entirely online. You get to schedule your own therapy dates and times, and you can choose between meeting our over video call or the phone or even by message. No problem, whatever you like. Not only strengthen your relationships, but help you to become your own soulmate, whether you're looking for one or not. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Tuesdays to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash Tuesdays. Folks, Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by DraftKings. New customers can bet on the big game and turn 5 bucks into 200 instantly in bonus bets. Super Bowl is already exciting, but betting with DraftKings adds a whole new level to the fun. You can lose everything. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code TUESDAYS. New customers can bet $5 to get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 58 with the code TUESDAYS. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or in West Virginia, visit www.1800gambler.net. 
in New York, you can call 778-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY for 67369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.com. Please play responsibly, especially all you Tuesdays out there. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expired 168 hours after insuance. See dkng.com slash football for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. Good gravy. You want to get into that story? or I'm a little nervous. I mean, right, I'm, I'll, I'll I'm get... tense. I'm scared they're gonna, the FBI is going to come through the window. Uh, I'll fine. try to tell the story as, uh, what's that called when you're... Neutral? Neutral. I'll try to tell it as neutrally and diplomatically as humanly possible. You Sorry. leaving? My wallet. It was right up my asshole. My wallet's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was gone. It was inside me. So I go, you know, I love Starbucks. The corporate. I love it. I love the Starbucks. They got the great green tea. It rules. It's great. Fuck you. <laughs> Some I might love say it. addicted. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I go three times a day. Right now, they're out of my tea, by the oh. way, and they don't get a shipment until Saturday. It's like it's ruining my life. It's all <laughs> ah, I'm thinking about. You know the shipment times. That's why I'm drinking it out of my fucking little adventures out there, Pacific Northwest, where I'll be moving soon. There you go. Yeah, I mean, you've gotten every morsel out of that cup. Look, I got a lot of stickers. I'm a sticker guy. <laughs> I love a sticker. I like a sticker. I'm a sucker for a sticker. Same. Sticker stick sucker. Me. That's a good name. Stick a sucker. Not bad. This is a stick up. So I go to Starbucks because they got the tea I like and they got the cup I like. I got what mental problems. Oriental moon. <laughs> it's called Emperor's Clouds that's, and Mist. That's the one. And Mist. Whoa. Yeah. Got a whole bit about it. It's a whole thing. Sounds like a Star Wars movie. My father's game. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, that's funny. It never hits. That's good. Uh, but anyways, Sweet I keep it. doing it anyways. So I go, I get my cup, and then I go to Roast and Toast, which is two blocks up. Okay. A little car block up. It's what? a little coffee place. Are you getting coffee now? No, it's a, it's a, like the way you say coffee shop, but it's a diner. I see. It's like, a, it's a bagel. You line up, you go, let me get an egg and cheese, a hash brown, and uh, my sister's ass and a pile of pubes. I'll see you later. Got it. So I go to <laughs> Rough <roast> Order. <laughs> I go to Roast and Toast. Okay. They're pulling out their pubes. Yeah. I got my Starbucks cup. Okay. And next to me, there's just a couple of girl, 20 year old women. One's got a, a hijab. Is that, am I saying that right? Hijab. Hijab. I don't know what she does for work. <laughs> <laughs> She's taking our jobs. <laughs> but the other one has a, a Puerto Rican flag bandana. Oh, wow. These, these people love uh, hats. <laughs> <laughs> they, like, they like their lids. Yes. And now I'm just painting a picture, of course. One had like, real thick cat eye makeup, the Puerto mm. Rican flag lady. Like, out, like the, the, you know? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And it was thick. It looked like... It's like a raccoon. Camouflage. Just smeared over there. Jesus. And I'm not thinking anything of it. They're just giggling. They're two ladies. I'm in my own head. I'm listening to whatever and uh, just like this, waiting for my thing. I'm half awake. Got the baby. You don't sleep. The bullshit. Sure. So I'm sitting there and then they're in line ahead of me and they pay and they're just very giggly. Like mm. you sign your name on the little thing. And I saw they wrote just like a line and then a heart, heart, heart. And that like made them die laughing because okay. they're laughing so hard. I kind of looked over there and you just see like hearts on the signature thing. And they're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. so you're like, oh, OK, whatever. I'm jealous of these people, but I don't want to interrupt. I know they're just having a great time and they're whatever. And as they're leaving, you hear like the cling, they're pushing the door out. Uh -huh. The lady says to me about, you're there and I'm here because I'm next in line. She says, uh, enjoy your cup of genocide. And I go, uh, cup of genocide? She goes, fuck Starbucks, fuck genocide, free Palestine. Wow. And I went, oh, wow, you're a moron. What? You said that? I said that because she's doing it as she's leaving because she's tough. Uh -huh. And I said, oh, wow, what a moron. And she said, free Palestine. Fuck your genocide. She said, your genocide. My genocide. She probably thought you were a big Renan. She may have, which is, um, I, I can't, I don't even know how to like describe how yeah. uh, bigoted and insane this was. She's just wow. accosting me. And evidently, I didn't know that Starbucks is 
Netanyahu owns Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. I did not know this. Evidently, Starbucks, because I went to Starbucks after, and I was like, what's going on? They're like, you don't know what's going on? And I'm like, well, I know what's going on in the Middle East. Sure. I don't know conflict. what Starbucks has to do with it. By the way, no. there's not a single Starbucks in Gaza. Really? I, I, Starbucks has nothing to do with any of this. Even in the Gaza strip mall? Um, and so I don't know. I don't know anything about this thing. Yeah. But evidently... Starbucks is responsible for genocide, but it was just wild to be like your genocide. Enjoy your cup of genocide. Yeah. And by the way, if you're really upset about what's going on, isn't it minimizing to call my tea a cup of genocide? Isn't that of, kind of, of course. Well, the whole thing is insane. It's also kind of like a funny term to say a cup of genocide. That's I'm true. Like, are you like totally minimizing this and making it silly? That's silly. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I've heard of an Irish car bomb, which is also <laughs> a drink that's killed people, but cup of genocide is wild. And to say that to a, a person and just the fuck, 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 very combative. What an unhinged whack job. I was Hit just job. flabbergasted. I, 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 did, I was like, okay. I mean, that's that's insane. And you're insane. And Ronan put it well, because I was talking to Ronan about it. He made a point of like, if you've decided that Starbucks is responsible for the war yeah. and you're not going there because you're a good person, yes. you're a moral person. Well, once you've accepted that's reality that like I am helping the cause by not going to Starbucks, by that rationale, anyone that goes to Starbucks is part of the genocide. In her mind. Yes. Got it. So... And you, but the thing that makes me crazy is like, so you think you're right here? You I think know. this is the right thing to do? Yeah, and that you've made a difference. By the way, I left one minute after that because I just had to pay. Yeah, and so I was walking behind them, and they walked by the Starbucks, and I wanted to be like, why aren't you like throwing shit in there yes, or like yes. spitting at it? Like you're just off cocktail, quietly walking by there. Right? Is it because I'm just a, a dude? You don't want to bother yeah. these young diverse women That's i don't get i don't get it shouldn't they but shouldn't you be screaming at them yeah yeah i feel the same way you know when you see uh somebody will tweet but they won't actually do anything right she tweeted you but i'm sure she feels great she feels like she made a difference by just accosting a guy drinking a cup of tea oh, i'm responsible feels- for genocide and it's my genocide and she- fuck me and fuck palestine or free palestine excuse me yeah <laughs> careful <laughs> she did a good thing she's a hero and she's gonna feel better about herself but just a way to treat people like because the scary part is you always hear people go like oh yeah they'll do that shit online they'll never do it to your face and she did it to your face yeah it was really something else and you, you feel because you want to be like should i dump my chips on her head should i sure. throw coffee at her should i take a shit and whip it up? but you're just by the way there's no winning from my perspective i know if i went over there and went hey fuck you now i'm just the big straight white guy screaming at a you know a muslim woman you're hey, you're a a petite, engaging a petite muslim woman i'm just accosting her sure but uh yeah it was quite Something I don't know uh, what to say. So whatever, whatever yeah. your feelings on it, the whole situation is, I don't know. Uh, that kind of stuff drives me crazy. A weird way to behave. And by the way, she has no. She doesn't know who I am. Yeah, I could have been at every fucking march oh, going. Woo! I just didn't point. get the word that Starbucks was responsible for bombing Gaza. But I have nothing to do with. Not a single bullet fired, bomb dropped. They go, hey. You like Emperor's Clouds <laughs> Mist? Yeah. All right, we're going to bombs away then. You're, ah. this, you're on this. But what are you going to do? She feels good about herself. And then you got to just let go. Let her I feel know. good. Have a nice time. Have a nice day. I'm sure they're on the train being like, you really did it, buddy. Yeah. Good job, you know, Cheryl. Thanks, Melissa. I don't think those are their names. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> had a great time out there. <laughs> we really got them. And it's also t- funny, too, because I'm like, if you're going to live your life like that, you're going to be exhausted. Like, and you might get a one of these days. You might get a hot cup of Emperor's tits in your your mug. But I'm like, there's so many people eating Starbucks. Like, shouldn't you stand outside the door? If you really think Starbucks is the problem, like, shouldn't you be in there going, hey, fuck all you, holding signs, picketing? You're just going to pick out the one fucking dude by himself? Yeah. It feels a little... Pointed? Odd and pointed and, and a bit bigoted, uh, if I may be quite I, frank. I would agree. And and also crazy. A lot of range on this broad to go from whoop, heart, heart, to enjoy your genocide, you fucking Jew face. 
I want to be like, I'm not enjoying anything. I got a, I got a 12 week old kid. I want to die. I yeah, yeah. You want to babysit? Not in, I'm not enjoying anything. Go the heart to heart. You know, like these people they think they're all lovey dovey. It's all about coming together, down with hate. Fuck you and your cup of jizz. Yeah. So I don't know, but um, I like Starbucks. There's a lot of other people in there, and um, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, geez, this lady needs a chill pill. Yeah, I didn't get the news, but what are you going to do? You know what you don't hear anymore is, uh, this was might have been a 90s thing, but uh, whenever a lady was mean, somebody would always go, she needs a good pounding. Ah. You heard that? I heard that all the time. Like, she needs a nice, uh, big, fat cock in her ass. That'll, that'll <laughs> chill her. <laughs> I, was like, I was like a nine-year-old. Like, oh, is that right? I didn't know that was a cure for stuff. But yeah, I, I kind of remember that. I now, heard what that was, a lot. What was the, the chocolate for the period, PMS? Did you guys have that? Women like the bonbons and the chocolate. They get sweet uh, cravings. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, my lady's the same way. She gets a period, and she's pulling open a fucking big heart of uh, uh, Stouffer's. Because I I remember being a kid and hearing people like, someone needs a Hershey bar. Uh, that was like a thing. And it was one of those things you're like, well, oh, you've got that straight. I do too. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't know what the Hershey bar meant. I think women like, uh, stereotypically, they like a nice chunk of chocolate. Ah, chocolate they're, chunk. They're menstruating. Yeah. Fun. There was a lot of period talk in the, uh, in the comedy world. Like somebody has that time of the month. You know, somebody's uh, menstruating. Uh -oh, right. Watch, I got to get out of the house. Got to call the Hilton. Uh-oh. That time of the month, wife's a little on edge. Now, do you know about the cup? I just learned about the cup. Period cup. Does that cup, do anything for you? Cup of genocide? <laughs> that's a cup of genocide. It's just a bunch of dead bodies in there. Well, that's what uh, the new product is. You know, but the, what is it? Diva Cup. Diva Cup. That's a real nice name. That's a euphemism and a half. I, I, I like a double Diva Cup. <laughs> but <laughs> evidently, it's like a tampon, but it's a cup. You just take a cup, like a, a fucking coffee cup, and put it in the old sea hole. Wow. And it collects blood, and you take it out. I don't know if you drink it or what you do with it. but you Give it to a vampire. I don't know what it looks like. It must be like a thimble? Is your wife using the cup? Oh, my no, wife okay. needs a Stanley Cup because uh, she's a gaper. By the way, the Stanley Cup craze. Huh? So Stanley Cup. There's a craze? Yeah, it's like the talk of the town. I, I got in an argument with someone. You just referenced it. Everyone's referencing it. It's everyone wants it. And I just got a, a, not an argument, but like a discussion. I was like, the Stanley Cup is a trophy. Yes. And I was like, if you Google Stanley Cup, the Stanley Cup is coming out. And everyone was, everyone in the family was like, no, no, it's going to be the coffee cup. And I'm like, what are you talking about? This is like the world's most famous trophy. Oh, You're out of your mind. Oh, the mug. The mug. These are very big right now. Yeah, that's what I thought you were referencing. I didn't know that was the Stanley Cup. Yes. Oh, my bad. No, I was talking about the trophy. Oh, I thought you were talking about Stanley Cup because no. that's what everyone in the world is talking about They're right huge. now. They're like going for 250, 300 clams, these things. Well, I Googled Stanley Cup and the Stanley Cup that I've grown up as a boy. You know, you want to lift that cup. Uh, hoist. It's just, it's not even in the first three pages. I'm not joking. <laughs> Hockey is deader than fucking really? my asshole. Wow. It's just pink coffee cups and like housewives like Stanley Cup. Whoa. And it also shows the power of human nature. Nobody was talking about a coffee cup. Those were eight ninety nine. dollars Now because everybody wants them, now they've just gone through the roof. It's uh, supply and demand, Jerry. It's like the trolls when we were kids. Yes. The, the hair. Yes. And then the beanie baby after that. That's right. Yeah, and then pogs, oh, they, 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 this stuff. Pogs. Ah, What's was a pog? A, in my neighborhood, pogs were they were a hot item. Like a pogo stick? No, no, like a pog. Like you throw it, the little circle. I don't know the circle. What? I don't remember. Pull up a pog if you get a minute. I remember Magic the Gathering. That was similar, but this had a slammer. Remember the slammer? I don't know the slammer. Oh, wow. All I right. know like people have been thrown in the slammer, the yeah. click. No, very different. But yeah, yeah, the Stanley Cup is crazy right now. It's it's weird what catches on in this country. I had no idea because I thought maybe this was like a Stanley Cup. No. Because I told someone this is a Sunwill Cup. Not even close. My son will be gay. But <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I can't see. Oh, that's the pog. That's the pog. You, sl you slam them down. as a little game. It was for the nerds. Oh, I got to tell you, I am not even, even seeing it, I'm not even like, oh, wow. It, it was maybe a it flash. didn't hit the Northeast. It's called like milk caps or something. Uh, that's yeah. how they started. Yeah, it I was don't know a flash. Remember tops? You guys do tops? Spinning tops? I know tops baseball cards. I don't know. It was a spin. You, you put a string around it. 
Flip oh, it, spin vaguely. It. We had the thing that was like you pulled the and it would oh, send the thing spinning. Yeah. That was fun. It was like you, you fed the thing through a like a threaded thing, and then you with went. The yeah, yeah, I know yeah, that one. That's fun. This was more old fat with a string and wooden with a little metal tip, like a dreidel. I don't think so. I don't. Know. I grew up in a weird uh, neighborhood, so we didn't have the the cool toys. It was a lot of uh, analog. <coughs> Not a lot of radio control cars around there. Remember the radio control car with the attached to the wire? That was yeah, rough. yeah. That was a tough time. Remote control cars. That was huge. I could never steer them if I wasn't directly behind them. I couldn't figure out the mm, mental. Yes. Once it's like facing that way and I'm facing this way, I couldn't do the math. Yeah, because it was one I was, was like, up, one was left, Gah. right. Yeah, yeah. I had to be directly behind it in order to yeah. so I was literally chase it around <laughs> or else I couldn't figure out how to control it. Yeah, I, I wasn't good at that either. I don't know if that's like some kind of dyslexia, but like once the car was, fa I'm like that with a map too. I'll like turn the map to be like, okay, this is, I take a left here. Yeah, I got the dyslexia. Yeah. You got it? It's fun. You have it with words? Yeah, letters? I read things so often. I read things out loud, and then someone's like, that doesn't say that at same, all. Same, same. Every time I see car wash, I think it says crawfish, because it's a similar oh, arrangement. And then I went to a BLM rally. Turned out it was a Mets game. MLB. Ah. All right. Uh, that was too much math on that joke. I see. All right. I'll cut that. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> I wish I could fucking men in black that out of my life. Much like the Mets, that was a swing and a miss. <laughs> All right. Are they still bad? They were like the go-to bad team. Um, I think they were bad again, yeah. Yeah. They were pretty bad, which is nice because you get good tickets at the end of the year. But um, Tickets? Yeah. They were bad. Yeah, and then the Bills were the other. That was the NFL bad punchline. Yeah. Then they kind of picked up for a minute. They've been kicking ass and uh, losing at the end of the season, yeah. Yeah, it's the last time you get Taylor Swift in your town there, Buff. No, I don't understand this. I'm a big football guy, big sports guy. I got no beef with Taylor Swift. They show her, people are furious, and they're like, Grrr! they got Taylor Swift. Yeah, I don't I'm care. Like, they cut to Taylor Swift. Who gives a shit? Yeah, if it was Madonna, they'd cut to Madonna. I, I just don't get the, uh, like, someone was like, now our only hope is Baltimore to keep Taylor Swift out of the Super Bowl. And I'm like, why is this bumming you out? I don't get it either. And it's it's helping football quite a bit. Oh, the sure. Way. The numbers are way up. But they're not. It, it feels like Big Lebowski. I, I'm not renting him shoes. He's not taking <laughs> your turn. I'm like, she's not throwing the ball. She's not punting. That would suck. Transports, it's coming. I mean, Travis Kelsey catches the ball. They cut to Taylor Swift. She's doing this. And then they cut back to the game. I, we're not missing plays. No, uh, I'm, I'm with you. I I'm, don't get it either. I'm angry about all the stuff people are angry about. I'm like, I don't get why you're angry about that. Yeah, cup of genocide. But then people don't like, people get mad at me about leaf blower. They're like, you fucking let him leaf blow. And I'm like, you're on his side? Yeah. That's he's crazy. Making, he's causing racking. Anyways. I got a child here. That's another thing I get mad about because they're like, it's legal to make noise at 7.15. I'm like, well, it's, it's legal for me to uh, go to a movie theater and fucking Fart. take a shit on the floor yeah. and eat it. I don't know if that is legal. <laughs> I mean, I'll think of something that's, <laughs> let me think of something that's legal. It's legal for me to go to the Burger King and get to the front of the line and go, ah. Uh, right. Uh, that's a good example. You know what I mean? That's uh, legal. Totally legal. That doesn't mean get the fuck out of my way. Yeah. doesn't mean I should be thrilled that a guy's going, woo, <laughs> 7.15 a.m. <laughs> it's a funny noise. It is a funny noise. Well, we're going to wrap this fucking thing oh, up. Really? This might be the last episode. We're getting canceled after oh, this. It's over. It on. Gaza Strip. They got a comedy club there. We'll come do it. Apparently, you're in the group. I mean, my God. Yeah. Starbucks. I, by the way, it's not a big enough news. Did you hear about Starbucks supporting I, the war? Wait, are they? I don't know. Is that real? I don't know. I, oh. I don't know. That's what I. She made it seem like because I went. To, did I tell you this already? Yeah, I went to Starbucks and they were like, "Yeah, I don't know. Evidently, something." And I guess someone else, maybe it's the same lady. They order a, a frappuccino every morning, and the name is Free Palestine. They never come and pick it up. Oh. So she's making, whoever this person is, is making employees work for no reason, oh. just so they can read a label, as though these people that work there have anything to do whatsoever of with course. where the company's fucking money is going. They're just trying to make a living, which, you know, you think as a 
super progressive, you might support people that are the trying man. to fucking work at a Well, if I know Starbucks, the joke's on the, the cunt who calls in, because if I know Starbucks, it's going to say uh, Fred Palastu, because <laughs> they get the name wrong every fucking time. So it's the same with these... Uh, Jizz yeah, stains boy. that that uh, sit in the highway, you know, and they're like, "Hey, climate change!" And you're like, "You're actually burning gas." These people are parked now, leaving the car running. It's idling, and this guy's going to a funeral. He's trying to go to work. What are you doing? I know, and you're losing everybody. See, well, like I glued my dick to the side of the goalpost during the Super Bowl. <laughs> right. Everyone's like this. Oh, fuck whatever you stand for. Fuck that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you're hurting the movement there. Yeah, bad and movement. There's no movement on the highway. So keep a bit. Uh, don't get me started on the, the, the coos who throws the uh, cream of mushroom on the <laughs> Mona Lisa. <laughs> Come on. I could have eaten that. There's starving people all over the country, but it's an oil painting. Oil. Get yeah. it? Now, speaking of no movement, I will be at the Regent Theater <laughs> May 2nd, and there are tickets available, folks. <laughs> Where uh, the hell's the Regent? Regent. It's on Skid Row. Oh. I'm telling you, they fucked me right in the ass. It's almost like they did it as a prank. They're like, yes. put list on Skid Row up against Maniscalco, Bargatze, and see how he likes that genocide. Oh, yeah. You're going to be right between a tent, a meth clinic, and a, and a big pile of kook shit. Ah, uh, that's my life. What are you going to do? Um, you better go in there with a shark cake. Where I am just I? Picture them wheeling you in. Oh, go to Punch Up Live. I now have a bonus thing there, a little uh, like a Patreon, but on Ooh, Punch Up Live. Hey, extra content. There's a bunch of extra content on there. I'm shucking and jiving with uh, Andy Hendrickson, Matt Wayne, uh, and uh, a couple other people. Maybe we'll do one sometime. I it's would really love fun. to. We got a couple hours. Well, we got our old Patreon too, though. But anyways, go on there. Go to Punch Up Live. It's five bucks. It's a cup of coffee. One cup of genocide <laughs> for the month. Roast and toast. And. Uh, uh, yeah, go check that out. Punch up live, sign up, and a uh, bunch of dates. Springfield, Missouri, uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm going fucking everywhere. Kansas City. People also get upset if you don't come to their town as though you're just avoiding the town. I know, I'm like, I I'm know. going to 48 towns. I couldn't. There's 300 towns. <laughs> Call my agent. I don't put this shit together. <laughs> I know. Like, they're like, you never come here. And I'm like, I was there eight weeks ago. I got to go to Indianapolis. What do you want me to do? And by the way, I didn't sell out in the last time I went there. So now what? <laughs> um, anyways, I got a lot of dates. Go to Punch Up Live. And uh, I'm putting everything on YouTube. There's a lot of shit on YouTube. Go check it out. Join our Patreon. We just shot a ton of crazy shit. Yes. It's insane. So much shit. Free Palestine. Here we go. I'm all over the place. Tucson, Raleigh, Charlotte, Lexington, Charlottesville. Uh, Why no Boise? Yeah, I'm going to Boise. Yes. Phoenix. I'll be in L.A. Uh, with this cat. Oh, we got to do a live app, maybe. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to. Uh, no. Yeah. Well, we got uh, bad dates. Yeah, you're only available like six days after my show. Six days? I can't be in L.A. for seven days. Oh, I see. I got a baby. I see. It's annoying. Forgot about the baby. Maybe I'll come back. Bring the baby. Ah, you can't bring a baby to L.A. That's true. It'll it'll make him gay. He'll have uh, a little cappuccino and be like, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. Pretentious. What's a cappuccino? Maybe that's not pretentious. Cappuccino a works. latte. Yeah. Maybe a pressed juice. I like pressed juice. I do too. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is the show. <laughs> this is good. All That's right. MarkNormanComedy.com. Punch up live as well. I've also got horse shit on there. And uh, yeah, thanks for everything. Get on the Patreon and we'll see you all in hell.